Agoy agoy mga palangka, welcome back to our YouTube channel na pwedeng ikaw jud ka ayong bida. This is Junior the High Quake, ang inyong pubring YouTubers. We are back with our another video editing tutorial. It will be different from our previous editing tutorial that only use cell phones like this one and this one. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit ang notification bell. I wanted to have this ed editing tutorial because I want to help you make your video much more appealing to your viewers since we are now in a virtual world more of our projects and works are using videos and of course this video is all about making your photo appear in 3d motion to your video projects and i am hoping that you will be motivated to do such great things not just for you but for your viewers stay tuned and let's do this this time, we'll be using Adobe After Effects. Gumawa ka lang ng new composition. Yung preset is custom mo lang. Para sa video size is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Pixel aspect ratio set to square pixels. Frame rate nito is 30. Means 30 frames per second. And ito yung workplace natin. Dapat mag-add tayo ng new composition para dito natin i-insert yung image na iti-3D natin. I'll be naming it for insert. <laughs> Custom is 500 by 500. Same setting ang the rest sa first composition natin. So now, i-insert natin yung logo na gusto natin i-3D effect. Adjust lang natin ng konti para kumasya dito sa isi-set natin. Then balik tayo sa main composition natin. Dito magre-reflect yung image na inilagay natin sa composition na pinangalan na nating for insert. Huwag kalimutan to create another new solid layer na may white background. New layer to siya. Arrange na lang natin at adjust yung image. Then, click the layer to adjust. So, ngayon, flat na yung image or logo natin. Adjust muna natin ang exposure. So, here, search exposure sa effects and presets. Drag lang natin sa image. Then adjust dito. Exposure to be 1. Offset 0 0.000. Gamma correction is 1. Dito sa arrangement of layers, click mo lang yung arrow down. Kung nais mong makita ang added effects or preset na in mo, included na yung adjust adjustments ng image. Now let's add animation to the image. Click transform. Follow mo lang to para sa position type expression open bracket position. Clo uh, bracket type 0. Close the bra bracket. Positive. Then open bracket 1. Close bracket. Comma. Index in close bracket. Balik tayo sa image logo natin na inanimate. Copy the image layer. Then bali 25 to 30 layers, pwede na yun. Control plus C, then Control plus V na. Yan, Control V, Control V, Control V. Then balik tayo sa first layer ng image and let's create new camera layer para ma-check naman natin ang 3D effect ng image. Tapos, to the last layer ng for insert, yung composition natin kanina, add a drop shadow effect. Adjust mo lang kung ano ang bagay. Dahil minsan, depende yan sa logo na ginagamit natin, especially sa colors and sa form niya.
Kasunod nito is to click mo yung solid layer and add a gradient ramped effect. Drag mo lang yan. And ayan. Adjust mo lang yung base na gusto mo. Pwede mo rin gayahin tong ginagawa ko, yung siniset ko. Gusto ko kasi yung elegant yung effect ng ating logo. Kaya gray ang gagamitin natin na kulay. Ramp shape, radial ramp, drag mo lang tong circle para sa trans ma-transfer mo yung focus ng effect. Now change natin ng gray to maximize drag lang ang edges nito. At ngayon balik tayo sa layer ng new camera. Adjust mo lang ang first appearance ng ating logo before ito yung na-move natin to. Again, click mo lang yung uh, any position. Ikaw na bahala kung anong length ng movement niya or gaano katagal. Then, para sa para ma-emphasize ang 3D motion natin, let's add effects sa first layer ng logo. Use CC Light Sweep then drag and drop lang sa first logo layer. And don't forget you can you can adjust the starting point by moving the indicator. Set mo lang ang location ng light sweep from start then at when siya mag-disappear sa image. We're done. And to ex export in Adobe Premiere, there are lots of tutorials also, but this time we will be demonstrating how to export this one. We need to render the project, then bago pa natin to ma-export. Dapat ma-add muna natin to sa queue. Let's check for the render setting, you know, best settings, output module, uh, check is lossless. Then click lossless to adjust. Format AVI. Then as is na lahat dyan. Choose where to save the output then click render. Then we are done. If you wanted to change the image, it will be very easy. You, you don't need to repeat all the process na ginawa natin kanina. Change mo lang yung image dun sa composition na nilagyan natin first ng logo. Yung pangalawang composition. Adjust mo lang. You can also add text to the image without thinking that you might remove or change the effect. Then, ito na. So, sobrang dali lang. You just have to... You can add only text or could be any picture. Pwede mo rin tong I change yung picture para dito yung kulay at iba pa.
we are done with our project. C, easy PC. Ang imo rajong kinahanglan is your pasensya and kakugi in creating those things. You can try and you can maybe you can do a lot more. So if you are having fun and if you learn something from this video, so click the like as well as you can also share it to others so that they could also learn it from me as well as from you. This is Junery the High Quake and hopefully you learned something from me. Bye bye. <laughs>